Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. As with any repair, be sure you unplug the appliance before beginning. Your first step is to remove the screws at the bottom of the front panel. Now, rotate the panel out from the bottom to release the clips at the top. Noting their location, disconnect the wires from the door switch, as well as from the retaining clip on the panel, and set the panel aside. Release the wires from the front bulkhead. Next, remove the screws to release the front bulkhead from the cabinet. Reach under the drum and push the idler pulley up to release the belt tension. Unthread the belt from the pulley and motor shaft and pull the belt out. Now lift out the drum. Remove the screws to release the blower housing cover. Use pliers to remove the spring clamp and use snap ring pliers to remove the front snap ring. Pull the blower wheel off and remove the rear snap ring. Disconnect the wires from the motor switch and remove the screw to release the grounding wire. Use a flathead screwdriver to remove the two motor retaining clips. Be aware this may require some effort. Lift out the old motor. Install the new motor by positioning it on the motor support. Then secure both retaining clips. You will now need to transfer the pulley from the old motor to the new one. Loosen the set screw to release the pulley. Be aware this will require effort. Position the pulley onto the new motor shaft, 3 eighths of an inch from the motor support. Tighten the set screw. Reconnect the wires. and secure the grounding wire with the screw. Replace the rear snap ring. Now slide the blower wheel onto the shaft and secure it with the front snap ring and the spring clamp. Replace the housing cover and the screws. Replace the drum by aligning its rim on the two support rollers. Slide the belt over the drum flat side down. And loop the belt around the pulley and motor shaft in a zigzag formation. Now rotate the drum to help align the belt. Position the front bulkhead and secure it with the screws. Secure the door switch wires on the retaining clips of both the bulkhead and the front panel. Then reconnect the wires to the door switch. Insert the front panel clips into the slots under the lip of the main top and rotate the panel into place. Secure it with the mounting screws. You're now ready to plug the appliance back in. 
to make sure it's functioning properly.